Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, April 21st. It's about 5.45 a.m. Just been sitting here getting a little bit of work done this morning and going through my planner to see what all I have to get done today. I'm very excited because my knit group, we're going to do our first Zoom this morning. I cannot wait. I've got everything set up and ready to go. Joining Natalie's Zoom call over the weekend really kind of gave me the push to be like, okay, you could do this. It won't be scary, especially with my knit group ladies. I know them. So yeah, I'm excited to do that this morning. What else do we have going on today? The boys have their schoolwork, of course. Wyatt and I will probably bake something because it is Tuesday and that seems to be our Tuesday routine is to bake some kind of a dessert. So we'll have to see what he wants to bake today when he wakes up. I have to pick up a grocery order this morning. Not our huge order, but just a midweek, we are out of things order, and I don't wanna go into the store <laughs> to get them, so I did an order. Um, I never went into the store anyways. I've been doing grocery pickup for quite a while, so this is nothing new for me. I'm glad it's still something that's being offered though. And I'm probably gonna split my time between three different projects, my knitting time today. I wanna work on the Lizzie Ann Yarns design, sock design that I've been working on, my April Desert Vista Dye Work socks. Since it is April 21st, I should probably work on those. And my mindfulness sweater, because I'm getting so close to being done with the stockinette for the body. And I wanna have the body done and the sleeve started by the end of the week. So I need to make a push to really finish off that body. But okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more work done and then go make some breakfast. crazy looking hair today. Um, so I am in the pickup spot for groceries. Bless Eric, he came with me and he went inside to see if they had a couple of things, substitutions for a couple of things that they didn't substitute on my order. And then um, to see if he could find my coffee creamer because I know they carry it here. And I don't know, they never have it as an option for pickup anymore. They did for like a year and a half and now they don't. And not because of this, it stopped before all of this started. So I don't know what the deal is with that. But anyways, bless him. He came with me and ran inside while I'm doing the pickup so that hopefully I'll be back home in time for the Zoom call for Knit Group. It starts at 10, it's about 9.03 right now. So yeah, I rushed around this morning to try to get all of my cleaning done for Tuesday, which I did, yay. So all of that is done and I can go home, hopefully in time for the Zoom call. <laughs> I would hate to be late since I'm the host. So hopefully this goes pretty quick. It's not too crowded, um, we'll see. And hopefully he can find what he needs to in the store. I forgot to bring any knitting with me, which seems to be the theme lately when I come to pick up groceries. I forget my knitting because everything's just so out of whack from what it normally is. I haven't had knitting in my purse like I always do. So yeah, I'm just hanging out. No knitting. Who am I? I forgot my knitting. <laughs> oh, one thing I can tell you guys I got about while I'm waiting. I took a little video clip of I was working on the Lizzie Ann Yarns sock design and I had a band-aid on this finger. You can't really see it right now, but I'm using Haya Haya Sharps for those and they get me every time. I push off of the needle that's in my left hand while I knit and it never fails. Haya Haya Sharps always poke a hole into the tip of my finger. It kind of did it the other day and then today it did it good. So. I have those little band-aids handy right by the chair where I knit in the living room so that I can always pop one on if it gets me really good. So I'll be wearing a band-aid every time I work on those socks. And then when I'm done with those socks, I'm sending the high high sharps that I have that are US 1 2.25 millimeter to my friend Jenny. I told her I was going to do that a while back and both of us forgot. 
we remembered this morning. So we'll send those off to her. Here comes Eric, let's see what he got. We are getting ready to make coffee brownies. Wyatt's doing it for a report for school. He has to do a speech, so he's getting a saucepan. That's all the noise that you hear. So I'm going to set this up to record, but I also have to take pictures for his demonstrative speech that he has to do. down before we can do anything else. Did I get some good pictures? Yeah. What are we watching on TV? I thought I would check in. I'm not sure how much of the footage I took of the brownies is gonna be able to be used. There was a lot of noise going on in the kitchen when I tried to talk earlier, but we made coffee brownies. I will put the recipe down below for you guys. I don't have a link, so I will type it out for you guys. Um, Wyatt did it for a project he has to do for school. So we had to take pictures and then he has to write up how to do the recipe with the pictures and all of that. So I was a photographer while he made the coffee brownies. And every time I bake with that kid, he just gets more and more independent with it and does more and more of it by himself. So it's really fun to, to watch him do something like that that he really enjoys. So I'm sitting out front now, working on the heel turn. I have one more row left on the heel turn of this new design that I'm working on. I also brought out my April Desert Vista Dye Work socks. I'm gonna finish this heel turn, pick up the gusset stitches, and then work on the Desert Vista Dye Work socks. And then I'll probably work on the Desert Vista Dye Work socks until it's time to go start dinner because it's already four o'clock. I feel like the day kind of flew by. I have no idea where the day went. I'm having one of those days where I keep feeling like I'm forgetting to do something that I was supposed to be doing. 
but I don't think I am. I think I just fell away because I got my cleaning done so early in the day today. Hopefully. I don't know what I would have had to have done today that I'm forgetting. <laughs> just had my shower and I'm about to head downstairs. I decided I'm going to work on my April Desert Vista Dye Work socks and my mindfulness sweater this evening. I'm going to do 30 minutes on one and 30 minutes on another until it's time to go to bed. So I'm gonna head downstairs and do that. And I wanted to mention because I totally forgot, um, I talked on Sunday's vlog about how our AC went out it was fixed. Today's Tuesday, it was fixed yesterday, so it wasn't even out a full 24 hours. And it ended up being something super simple to fix, and it was covered under the warranty. So we did have to pay for the labor, but it was, the part was covered. Anyways, so yeah, air conditioning is fixed. We are as ready as we can be for these warmer days coming. <laughs> it's definitely going to heat up this week and into next week, so... I'm glad it's it's fixed and taken care of. Calvin is here sleeping on my bed. He's been having a wonderful post-dinner nap. <laughs> I think Eric is downstairs watching is it The Curse of Oak Island, I think is the name of it. So I'm going to head downstairs and I think I'm going to turn on Noble Character Crafts podcast and watch that while I alternate back and forth between those two knitting projects. This will probably be the last time that I check in on today's vlog, so thank you guys so much for joining me, and I hope that you enjoyed today's Day in the Life vlog, and I will see you guys again soon.